All right, we're back um, trying to fix my brush situation. So these are, I did all these brushes already, but the problem is the method I made up didn't work the best just because of the fact that um, there was a lot of like baking soda still in them. So that's really on me. I think the method would have worked if I hadn't gone and like just dipped them in baking soda. Sorry, there's like water on the counter here. Um, so I wouldn't recommend that method uh, necessarily um, unless you're using a very small amount and you're just kind of tapping it and then doing the vinegar mix each time and then proceeding to rinse really well right afterward. Um, so I am now gonna use um, this device here. Um, it's basically a brush cleaner and dryer. So I'm gonna see about using this here to see if I can try to rehab some of these brushes because I really love them and they were working fine. They were just dirty. Um, and then, so I got this on Amazon. I'll link it below. And then I also got this Eco Tools um, brush shampoo as well. Um, and then that's so that we can try to put that in the water. So I did some lukewarm water, this maybe like a tablespoon or less in here um, and then you have to put in a couple of AAA batteries in here to get this to work. So um, hold on just a second, looks like my battery's already dying, freaking A. Okay, back at it again. We're gonna actually hope this battery lasts long enough to actually get a video made. Um, so this comes with two like little rubber components here um, and then you put the brush in here um, depending on the size of the brush. So we'll just start with a smaller brush since I already have this here. Um, okay. I'm a little worried because the brush is pretty long. You can see it's like hanging out way far. Um, but I'm hoping that'll be, it won't like fling it off of here. Okay, so basically you're supposed to dip the brush in like this. There's a little power switch over here. And then it's supposed to kind of make some bubbles there. Okay, and then I hit the button again and it goes faster, that's to dry it, and then I hit it one more time just to cut it off, okay? And then this is gonna make a big mess. I already have a feeling. Um, so basically, I okay, I'm gonna point this in this direction. You're supposed to do this. Oh, I'm like so worried, okay. Okay, and then it's... It's pretty dry. Like, I'm pretty impressed right now. Like, this brush probably wasn't soup. no. I can't tell if this one was super dirty or not, but I mean, it's really clean. I was a little worried the brush was just gonna fly out, so you have to kind of watch out for that. Um, but it's dry, so that's impressive to me because the last method we used, I had them drying for so long and I wasn't able to use my a lot of my brushes in that time. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this. Oh, I was also, I was supposed to rinse it too. That's why I've got this water over here. So I kind of faux pas on that. Um, it still feels clean. I don't think it was that dirty, so I think it might be fine. Plus I didn't use a lot of um, the shampoo stuff. So I don't know if that matters or not. Um, so I'm just shoving that in there so it makes sense. We're gonna go in with another brush. This one again is not like super dirty. Um, just because I did clean some of these brushes recently, but it's just they kind of feel a little gritty. So I'm trying to get rid of that gritty sensation. Okay, so nice and foamy. I'm gonna go ahead and dip it in here and swirl a little bit. Just to, okay, just to rinse it. And then I'm gonna push it over here because I don't want this like getting all over the mirror. Just gonna do that for a few seconds. And then you're just supposed to reshape it afterward. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm really actually pretty impressed with this. So it's dry. It's like dry, it feels like brand new. Oh my gosh, this is such a lifesaver because I've been sitting here thinking like I've ruined these brushes now, like their handles are dirty, but I don't care about that. It's not going to my face. But <laughs> I've been so stressed about this because I'm like, these brushes feel so gross now that they have like a little bit of baking soda residue in them. Okay, so as you can see, we have a lot more to do, but I will take what I can get at this point because I love my brushes and I don't believe in having to like waste them. Okay, so I just did a quick rinse on that one because that one's just a little baby brush. 
And then if you're putting it in the water, make sure to put it in there deep enough. It's not going to like shoot out everywhere. This one looks a little weird. Oh, there we go. It does not sound, well, it sounds a little interesting, but <laughs> I'll leave it up to interpretation there. Okay, so nice and clean. Oh my gosh, I'm impressed, you guys, really impressed. Okay, so I'm gonna do all my small brushes first because I have a lot of those. And then that way I'll switch out to the, now this one's kind of wiggly, so I'm a little worried because it's a thin brush. So I'm a little worried. I'm just going to watch out for it. Okay. I mean, this is coming out pretty clean. I'm pretty impressed here. I'm just going to do a rinse here. Oh, oh shit. I hate the fact there's not, like, another way to stop it. Okay. This part worries me a little bit. Uh, okay. When it's not like fitting in there tightly, I'm like, okay, please don't fly out. But I mean, it's dry, it's working. So I've, I'm really excited. concealer sometimes oh you can see that look at that flattening action it looks like a blur effect or something
think it's just the battery. I think I have too many of them. <laughs> I feel like that's some of it. Okay, so I'm gonna put my brush like here, I guess. I, I don't wanna dip it in all the way. They were like, that's bad. <laughs> but we need more batteries. <laughs> Okay, so I'm back, you guys. I went ahead and um, did the rest of the brushes. So this is the results here. There's a couple of them that have some pink spots on them, but that's because I used them after I got them washed. Um, so beside the point. But um, what I realized with that brush cleaner is it actually isn't the battery. It overheats after a certain amount of use. So if you're going to consider getting this, I'll link it in the description. Um, they sell it at Amazon then you have to be cautious with the fact that it very well could overheat and that's what the issue was and that's why it would cut off and um, it, you would have to basically stop and then give it some time to um, you know cool down and then you'd be able to use it again. But the problem with that is the fact that um, some of the brushes worked better than others when it was hot. Like if you have a thinner brush that tends to work a little bit better. Um, the bigger brushes um, that were really tightly in there seemed to struggle more, actually. So I just wanted to give you guys um, a little bit of a close on what the brushes ended up doing and basically what was happening toward the end of the video when I thought it was just the battery dying. But I was able to save all the brushes, so I feel like that alone was an accomplishment. If you like this content, feel free to subscribe down below, and thanks for watching.